Have you ever wondered where robots came from? The idea of robots has been around for centuries. Early inventors dreamed of machines that could help us. In the 20th century, robots started to become a reality. The first industrial robot was used in a factory in 1961. This robot was called Unimate. It was a big arm that could move heavy things. Today robots are used in many different places from factories to hospitals. Robots have come a long way since Unimate. They are now more advanced and can do more things. We are still learning about the full potential of robots. As technology continues to improve, robots will become even more important in our lives. There are many different types of robots, each designed for a specific purpose. Industrial robots are commonly found in factories. They perform tasks like welding, painting, and assembly. These robots are often large and powerful. They help to build cars, electronics, and other products. Humanoid robots are designed to look and act like humans. They can walk, talk, and interact with people. These robots are still under development, but they have the potential to revolutionize many industries. Imagine a robot that could help you with chores around the house or provide companionship. Autonomous robots can operate without human intervention. They use sensors and artificial intelligence to navigate their environment and make decisions. These robots are used for tasks like exploration, surveillance, and delivery. Robots may seem complex, but they operate on some basic principles. Think of a robot like a human body. Robots have sensors that act as their senses, allowing them to perceive the world around them. These sensors might detect light, sound, touch, or even temperature. Just like our eyes and ears help us understand the world, sensors provide robots with information. Actuators are like a robot's muscles, enabling them to move. These actuators could be motors, pistons, or hydraulic systems. Just like our muscles help us move our limbs, actuators power the movements of robots. A control system acts as the robot's brain. It processes information from the sensors and sends commands to the actuators. This control system is often a computer program that tells the robot what to do. Section 4. Real-Life Applications of Robots Robots are already hard at work in many industries, making our lives easier and safer. In manufacturing, robots perform repetitive tasks with precision and speed. They can work 24-7 without getting tired, increasing productivity and efficiency. In healthcare, robots assist surgeons with delicate procedures, improving accuracy and reducing patient recovery time. They can also help with tasks like lifting and moving patients, reducing strain on healthcare workers. Robots are also exploring dangerous or inaccessible environments, from the depths of the ocean to the surface of Mars. They gather valuable data and help us understand our planet and beyond. Section 5. Strengths of Robots Robots have many strengths that make them valuable assets in various fields. They are incredibly precise and consistent in their movements, making them ideal for tasks requiring high accuracy. Imagine a robot arm repeating the same movement perfectly thousands of times, something human workers would find difficult. Robots also have incredible endurance. They can work tirelessly for long periods without breaks or fatigue, increasing productivity and efficiency in many industries. Unlike human workers, robots don't experience tiredness or need time off. Robots are particularly well-suited for dangerous or hazardous tasks, protecting human workers from potential harm. They can handle hazardous materials, work in extreme temperatures, or explore environments that would be too risky for humans. Section 6. Weaknesses of Robots Despite their many strengths, robots also have weaknesses. One limitation is their lack of creativity and adaptability. Robots excel at following instructions but struggle with tasks requiring improvisation or creative problem solving. They can't think outside the box like humans can. Robots also lack human judgment and intuition. They rely on their programming and sensors to make decisions, which can be limiting in complex or unpredictable situations. Humans can often assess situations and make decisions based on experience and intuition, something robots are still learning to do. Finally, robots lack social and emotional intelligence. They can't understand or respond to human emotions, which can be a significant drawback in fields requiring empathy and interpersonal skills. Human interaction often relies on subtle cues and emotional understanding, something robots are not yet capable of replicating.